cold. It's so good. She stayed asleep the whole time. I'm just taking her off now in my Moby Wrap. I love this thing. I'm gonna um, load my groceries and then show you what I got. I just left Costco right now. Well, kind of left Costco. I'm actually gonna get gas. But I just wanted to say how great she did. This was our first like big outing like alone together that I knew was gonna be a long time. I was in there for probably an hour and 20 minutes. And I was able to kind of browse some of the stuff too. But she did so, oh, now she's crying. Well, at least she's getting upset in the car. We're on our way home after this though and she'll get fed. She did so well. Anyway, so the damage for Costco today was 376 even, but I got a ton of stuff, um, some new things, and there were some great prices on some items. And so I'm going to be sharing all those prices of the individual items as well. I took everything out of my car with the help of my husband. There was no way I could do this by myself in a short amount of time, but everything is out. I'm gonna put her down for a second real quick and then I will show you what I've got. Where to begin? We got a lot of stuff and when I say we, I mean me and the baby. We went shopping this morning and I put it off as long as possible but I got everything that we needed plus some. So let's just start over here. Also, I'm interested to know what your prices are, where you're from. I was watching a Costco haul where the person is located in Florida and the prices, I was shocked to learn were so much cheaper than things that we have here in California. So if there's something of a price that is just outrageous to you that I come across, let me know in the comments because it's always interesting to compare prices across the country. So let's start over here. I picked up some candy. We picked some up on our last trip um, about four weeks ago. I think these were like $13.99 for one and like $15.99 for the other where my son's um, preschool is having a trunk or treat so I wanted to get some extra candy just just in case. Of course, the staple, the rotisserie chicken. I know there's all kinds of things that may not be great in here, but it is so good. So I'm gonna shred this up later and eat some tonight and then probably freeze the rest. I got some gain. This was on sale actually. I think it was like $15.99 or $14.99. I don't know, something, a great price. I got some baby wipes back there. Uh, price I think was like 18 or 19 bucks. Picked up some ham and let's see what is it here. Yeah. 9.50 for 1.73 pounds. Not bad. This ham is so good and so is the turkey like the oven roasted turkey I think but we have a ton of turkey that my mom brought us yesterday so I did not want to get extra. We're running out of snacks. I don't know if you guys remember my last video back in, oh my gosh, I don't know, August, maybe even July. No, I think August. I bought a bunch of snacks and I said this that they would last us for a long time. They did. We're starting to, I think we only have like three bars left. So I got that. I forgot to get extra snacks, but here's a good start off point. I got some cooking spray. It's the best deal was at Costco for sure. I usually pick it up canola oil like at Winco or Target for like $3 I think. It's usually like two ninety nine three dollars something but way cheaper to get the two pack. Look what I found. We are still in a pumpkin shortage and look what I found. It's a three pack and let me see how many ounces are in this. Three pack. It's one pound and 13 ounces per can. So 29 ounces total. A screaming deal. I think it was $7.50, maybe eight bucks, but still awesome, awesome price. Considering that one, I can't find pumpkin still. And two, the price is absolutely phenomenal. Grapes, there wasn't many to choose from. I tried to pick the firmest looking without opening this up and touching them. Obviously that's not the best idea, but grapes, I don't remember the price. Everything will be up on the screen, I'm sure. You know what, this is a different fruit spread. I usually get, let me go find it. This is the fruit spread that we use for the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for our kids. And I could not find this. So I don't know if this is the new brand that is taking over. I have no idea. Let's compare here. 
135 calories in both, 9 grams of sugar in both. I don't know, it looks like to be exactly the same, so I have no idea. Oops. And I think it's about the same price too. And, well, we'll give it a try. I'm sure it'll taste just fine. Moving on, I picked up Pete's. It is the best price for a 32 ounce bag of whole bean for our French press in the mornings. I had to get this, I'm always seeing these at Costco. It's the Thermo Flask. There's two of them, but they were on a sale. So I think they were like four or $5 off. I needed to get my husband one because he does not drink enough water. So I bought, is this red or pink? What color are you? I don't know. Doesn't matter. As long as you can drink water out of it, it shouldn't matter. But. He needs to drink more water. I figured he can use this one. I'll use this one whenever I run out of my water bottles, but great price. Back here, I finally found body wash. I have not been able to locate body wash there for months. I've never tried their body wash, but someone said that they have good body wash. I finally found it. There wasn't actually many left of them. I'm the only one in the house that eats this Greek yogurt. Everyone else likes the little fruit cup ones, like the flavored ones, but I just like plain Greek yogurt because I like to add my own fruit to it and my own granola and a little bit of honey on top. It is the best either breakfast or snack that you can have. Vital Proteins is number one, and I am kicking myself for not going, I think it was, maybe three weeks ago. I probably was even in the store whenever the sale was going on, but it was like five to seven or eight dollars off and you were like allowed to get three or four of them. Oh, every time I go in, it's $29.99. You still cannot beat the price. The price is still the best in Costco, but I could have gotten so many of them for like 25 bucks or 24 bucks or something but this is the best stuff. It is great for your hair and your nails and your skin. I put it in my coffee every morning. Sometimes I forget, but I've been better about it lately, especially now that I've been breastfeeding and I know collagen is okay to have when you're breastfeeding. So I've been incorporating, incorporating that back into my diet. A big old thing of spinach. What, how much is this? Let's see. Two and a half pounds of spinach. We will probably, I always, I always try to make sure we go through the majority of it. It's still a, a way better price in the stores though. I think in the stores it's like $3.99. I think this was $5.99 or $4.99, I don't know, one of those prices. But still, even if we can get halfway through it, we'll still be saving a ton of more money. Oh my gosh, the best find. Okay, so I went to, I was at Whole Foods the other day because we were in that area and I picked up a spaghetti squash and kid you not, one spaghetti squash I think was like $4.99 or five bucks even. But for the both of these, it was like almost $6 for two large ones. Like they're pretty good size. It is delicious over, I, I don't know if you've seen my Instagram the other day, but I made meatballs with marinara and then I just shredded it. So it was like meatballs, spaghetti and meatballs essentially but spaghetti squash and meatballs, and it was so good, and my husband loved it, so it's a keeper. All right, moving on down here. Mandarin oranges, we got some a few weeks ago, and they were literally the best bag of mandarin oranges that we've ever had. There were no seeds in them. They were juicy, like, and plump. They weren't deflated. You know how sometimes you can open them up and they're like not, they're just not juicy, but they were just so yummy, so I picked that up. My boys love cucumbers. I love cucumbers, and these are the best English cucumbers. We use them, I put them in their lunches, I put them in our sandwiches. I use them as a snack for hummus, which I still have some Kirkland hummus that we got on our last trip. So I'll be using it with that. Blueberries, of course, for my Greek yogurt parfait that I like making. The boys also just love having blueberries. They will eat them. They are not here right now, which is great because otherwise they would just start munching on them and the other berries I bought. Honey crisp apples. These looked so delicious. How could I say no to these? Honey crisp apples are literally my favorite type of apple, my favorite variety. And the boys love them too with some peanut butter. I picked up some celery sticks. I figured I can use them in dishes. I was thinking about making a chicken salad for tomorrow perhaps, or maybe even today, I don't know. But um, we love celery and all the things that we try to make, so I picked that up along with some green beans. We are a green bean family. We love having that on the side for any dish. Along with Brussels sprouts 
And one of my favorite bloggers, um, cooking bloggers, it is Half Baked Harvest. She just came out with a new recipe. I think it was like bacon and Brussels sprout fettuccine Alfredo. Oh my goodness, it looks so delicious. We also love Brussels sprouts just as a side for anything. I usually do it with like a little balsamic vinegar, some lemon, sometimes we do Parmesan cheese. Sometimes we just keep it simple and don't add the cheese, but the boys tend to eat it more when there's cheese, obviously. And I got some baby carrots. I like putting these in the boys' lunches. They they they're pretty good about eating their vegetables. There's a there's certain ones that they don't really like. None that I can think of offhand. Hmm, what don't they like? I mean, they even eat spinach like just by itself. I'll just like put some leaves on their plate and they'll eat it like they're rabbits. They're they're kind of silly. But I'm thankful. I've got two pack of milk. That is something we always go through rather quickly, especially me. Like I'm still, I was craving milk when I was pregnant and I'm still craving it, which is really weird because I don't usually drink milk by itself unless like I'm having like a cookie or a brownie or something, but just like a nice ice cold glass of milk just sounds so good and refreshing. I picked up some mushrooms. It is so fun. Okay, so this was one that my oldest son was not a fan of. He was not a fan of mushrooms until he learned how healthy mushrooms are, like all the vitamins that are in there. And once he also found out that the mushrooms help grow Mario in Super Mario, because he's obsessed with Super Mario. And so once he found out that the mushrooms help him grow, he began eating them. And then all of a sudden he's like, oh, these are delicious. Can you please them in everything so thank you mario brothers for that raspberries like i said we like putting this in our yogurt the boys like yogurt too and they'll they'll put fruit on it my youngest one likes it on the side but these berries looked so delicious they just look so plump everything is plump looking isn't it <laughs> and of course some strawberries they look great as well and if my boys were here, they would definitely be eating the strawberries as well. Picked up some chicken breasts. They're always the best price over there. I think it's like $2.99 a pound. So I always freeze these. And I love that there's two chicken breasts per pouch. And then I just, I separate them because there's the backside too. And it's nice just to pop out. And they defrost quicker too when they're like this. Oh no, the baby. I also picked up our ground beef that we like to have. This is always the best and it is 1.34 pounds per little package and we make this, I usually use this for like Korean beef bowls, taco night. I know we are Mexican, I don't know if you know this, but some people are like, you cannot be Mexican and have ground beef tacos. Well, yes we can because we like the taste of them. I make meatballs with them, I do enchiladas, so many things. I also make this, it's called tavern sandwiches. Oh, I should link that recipe. It is so bomb, I think it is, it, if you've ever seen Roseanne, that's the restaurant that they actually make. What they focus on making is tavern sandwiches and they are so good. And I think they're called like easy maids or quick maids or something like in Kansas, like back in the Midwest, that, that's what they're called, I think. But they're so delicious, my boys love them. And so I make that pretty often with brioche buns. Picked up some sliced cheese for our deli meat. We also make quesadillas with them whenever we need like a quick snack. And of course they also go on the tavern sandwiches too. Picked up some bread. I always freeze one loaf and bread freezes great. So that is something that you need to do if you have the room in your freezer to do so because I, we go through bread like crazy. It'll go bad fairly quick if you go, if you just put them in the pantry. So I just take one loaf out, I leave the other loaf in this bag, wrapped in this bag, and I just stick it in the freezer and pull it out and put it on the counter and it defrosts in like 30, 30 minutes probably, probably less. But speaking of bread, I also got the Dave's Killer Bread. We love, me and my husband, he was not a fan of this back when I introduced this brand to him a while back, he didn't like the texture because the texture is a little different from just regular bread. But then he started to get used to it after I made him avocado toast. And then one day I made him a sandwich with this bread, like an actual sandwich, because usually I use that type of bread. And he absolutely loved it and now prefers this over any bread any day. 
I also got some peanut butter. We are constantly going through peanut butter, I feel like, even like with our snacks, like I said, the apples and peanut butter, peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter cookies, like all the peanut butter things right here. I have never tried Kirkland brand fabric softener. I don't know why. I'm just always accustomed to getting the name brand like name brand like the downy so i wanted to try this it smelled really good the lavender so i'm sure it'll be the exact same thing which by the way i just found out that the diapers like the kirkland brand diapers are the exact same thing as like the huggies they're all made in the same like factory just packaged differently i'm like mind blown so does that mean like everything else that is not I mean, there's some things I will not buy store brand. Cereal, oh my gosh, nope. Mayo, oh my gosh, that is the number one thing I think I will never get name brand is mayo. But anyway, I wanted to give this a try. Of course, butter, last time we were in there, we accidentally grabbed the like one pound butter. So it was like a big old box of butter, but it's just one large log of like one pound. So I would have to cut it. But back to the sticks we go. And I also bought um, a flat of water. It's in the garage and that is going to the trunk or treat. So I just decided to leave it there. But that is our haul. And the total was 367 even for all of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this Costco haul. I really wanted to film some in the store, but I wanted to be fairly quick just because this was our, my first time taking her into a store that I knew was gonna be a long time in there. So hopefully the next time I will be able to film a little bit of something and be able to browse a lot more like through these seasonal items and whatnot. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And please, again, let me know if there was something here here that in your area the prices are crazy expensive for an item that may be cheap to us it's always neat to hear different prices so let me know in the comments down below and we will see you in the next video bye guys one of the worst parts of all this putting it away oh. I really wanted to get it right some balance in my life but i never really put up a fight didn't follow my dreams and now i'm losing sleep yeah. quick tip freeze the chicken breasts before you cut them all the juice just went everywhere now i have to clean up a big mess ew